I mean, look, every, to each his own. Um, there aren't going to be any ooing and eyeing sounds if we can't see it, though, right? right. So you're the man with the answer to that. And, and the weather's got to cooperate. That's right. And, and I know Lonnie, you know, is going to be getting to experience all that and making the, the audible to try to find the best viewing, the right. best clear skies. For us, I mean, it's 90%. So, you it's know, it's not bad. It's not bad. And I think it's, it's still going to be a spectacular show. A lot of, I mean, you, you think about how rare of an event this is. I mean, everything's got to come into alignment. I mean, compared to last time, even 2017, right? We've got a longer duration, more states that are going to get to see it, and, and they just want to take it in. And uh, so many folks have been looking forward to it for so long. And I'm optimistic that the clouds won't spoil the show. So looking forward to that. Let's talk about, kind of give you a lay of the picture here, our big weather story. And then we'll kind of talk a little bit more about what we can expect for tomorrow. So for tonight, we've got mostly clear, quiet, overnight conditions. For the forecast tomorrow, the eclipse looks fine. There are going to be some high clouds, but it's not going to obscure the visibility. So that's good news even here in the city. We are climbing to the 70s for Tuesday. Lovely, lovely spring day then before things get a little bit dicey. But here's what's going on. Of course, the moon coming in the way, the sun and the earth casting a shadow, the path of totality all the way from Texas, Ohio Valley up into the northeast. Yes, upstate, you can see it. 100% totality, so, you know, maybe you got plans, hitting the road early, I mean, booking it tomorrow morning. Just keep in mind, clouds may make it a bit difficult. Here locally, we'll call it a partly cloudy mid-60s. Temperature's really good, too, and in the grand scheme of things, I mean, you know, tomorrow, not a bad day, especially considering you don't want it on, on like the wet stretch we had last week. And, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we get back to, you know, more clouds around. So, you know, looking at the week as a whole, I think tomorrow is going to be a fantastic day for viewing. So it all gets going to 10. That's when the moon will start to dim the sun. Max eclipse for us is about 325. But remember, as we've been talking about, you know, at, uh, in nauseam, nauseam is the fact that you are going to need those glasses. Just like you would look at, at the sun normally, regular sunglasses won't do. You are going to need those special uh, solar eclipse glasses. Just put them in your bag. That way, you know, you're not looking for them or forgetting them uh, tomorrow in the afternoon. Whatever you got going on, make sure you do enjoy that then. And then it all goes on to about 436 in the afternoon tomorrow. So future cast again paints a pretty picture for us. You'll wake up sunglasses. It's all good. Just a couple high clouds at, at peak max uh, eclipse time in the afternoon. And then Tuesday looks fantastic too before we watch kind of a wetter stretch beginning Wednesday through the end of the week. And that's when we could tally another inch, inch and a half, basically through these three days. But the good news is it's all gone by the weekend. And here we are enjoying another awesome weekend with 60s and sunshine. Jessica. Nice bookends there. All right, Tony, thank you.